What's up, YouTube? We are back in another video. In this video, we're gonna go over the daily, what my daily, what I do every day. To make millions of coins. I have 2.1 million coins right now. I do have cards in my inventory, like I still have my Jalen Ramsey. Got some 84s, uh, not 84, 83 overalls waiting for Ultimate Alumni Part 2. Got a little bit of knock shells, not, not too much. But we should be making a lot more when the packs, when the new content drops. I'm going to be making a video, seeing if I can make 1 million coins in 24 hours of the challenge video. If I don't complete it, I'm going to have to give something away. If you guys want that video, get this video up to 10 likes. And I'll for sure get that video out to you guys. But the daily, what you have to do every day. First thing. I'm good. You do have to do your three dailies. Buy your buy your pack from the store. That's gonna be the hundred overall, the hundred coin recruit pack. Buy it every day. Complete that done. Play a game of freshman solo seasons. Just do that. Pass for two, gain two fifty yards. Bang, you're done dailies. While you're doing your dailies, you probably want to keep working on these other challenges too. They did add new challenges yesterday. When they on Mon for Monday, they released this this uh, this chapter here for six thousand XP from go for getting passing yards. Then we have some rushing yards for another six thousand. We have some. Um, we have to record. I think it was, it was team tackles. I'm pretty sure. We had to get tackles. I think to get six thousand. No. Uh, it was actually. Wait, yeah, yeah, it was sacks. It, it was one of these two. It was one of these two they added, to the game. One of them, well, I don't know. Then it's still legends. I still have to complete. But make sure you guys get every day. You do your dailies. Look at it. Look at your other challenges you can work on. But getting on the market side of things. What I do every day, I've said this a lot, plenty of times. I always go on the auction house. I'm always gonna go go snipe some cards. I'm always gonna. Try to fill out that inventory, fill out that auction house, so I constantly have coins getting made, like constantly having coins. Like that's right here. Yes, nine point five hundred, nine point five is not it's not crazy profit, but I can still profit on the card, and because I have empty, I have an empty auction house right now, I can just buy him, repel him back for twelve. He'll sell. I'll get my thousand profit and I'll take it like you know what I mean like it's just it's about the process of make sure you every day you get at least 20 cards in the auction house just get like just have 20 cards in the auction house. you sell it throughout the day they don't sell first time sell them the second time they eventually sell just, but just make sure every day you at least get 20 cards in the auction house because you just, you'll make some you'll make some coins like right here, just chilling here. I just missed the card, but that'll be an easy two or three K profit. We have another one right here. I missed it again. But the process of just doing this every day, it's not that it's not very time consuming, except if you miss every card like me. But like you just buy someone for 10 K. Yes, it's only 800 profit. Oh, well, 800 to a thousand profit times that by 20 cards. That's 20k profit an hour. I mean, it's not much, but it's something. And if you have, you just flip, you just do this over the course of the day. You might, like, it might take like 10 minutes to maybe fill your inventory out. And you're just like, okay, let's, let's spend 10 minutes on this game every, every hour. And you just go on for like, let's, let's just say you do it for six different hours in a day. Like this is not, it's just a very casual method. That's 120k it's made out throughout the day. Just just sitting on just sitting playing the game. With 120k you made one hour of playing the game for the day. But what I like to do, if you want me to make more coins, you gotta actually you gotta make sure you're actually on the game. You gotta focus up. See what you see the fill unfilled prices right here, yes. But what what I've been doing is I'll go over to these other positions like right guard. I'll see this guy right here for 13k. I'm not sure if it is a sniper or not. Not 100% on his price right now. 
because it is a right guard. But like, if I go to like a different position, like centers, 20k, I'll buy this card up. Scoop them up real quick. 81 overall center for 20k. Repose them back for 33. Do this every day. That's, 10, that's a 10k profit right there. The card was just literally just chilling there. You were just sitting there. And if you're lazy, put up for eight hours. Oh, it'll probably sell. That's 10k profit. And I literally just got I just just got on. And I, I just go position by position. You could get you could fill your auction house out. You don't have to fill your auction house out, it doesn't really matter. Just spend 30 minutes to an hour on this a day. And you'll just continue to see your coins go up and up and up. I do this. I take this to the extreme. I do this for many hours a day, many, many hours. That's why I have so many coins. I'll do this for like hours on end. You see this card right here for 12, nine. I mean, I would normally buy that, but I don't know. This market's looking kind of weird right now. That's actually, that's not my card. Um, who's that? I actually have one of these, I think maybe, maybe it's sold, but we have 81 overall. We have 81 overall for 17 K. We're gonna go buy this card up real quick. We're gonna put it up for 25k because I know this dude right here, this guy right here, he's a little bit of a hard seller because he's not very good, I don't think. So I'll put eight hours, put the card up for 25k. I pop for 17, some for this, some 5k profit. Nice profit. I'll say if I get if I get 20 cards through the day, which you can definitely get 20 cards in an hour, I would say. That's like 20, that's a 100k profit easily. Just for one hour of playing the game. If you, take, if you play five hours a game, it's 500k. If you play 10 hours a day, you have a million coins right there. I mean, so you'll have, you have some hours that are slower, but it'll be a probably, it'll be a, you'll still profit a good amount. Thank you, Kevin, for the sub. Bro, my last video, you guys blew that video up. I, I, I did not expect that at all. I appreciate I appreciate all the support on that video. It was great. But let's get like literally it's all my daily routine. This is actually what I do. this is literally what I do. I'll just go in the game, fill my auction house out. So I'll fill my auction house out through with the 80 to 80 ones, or you know, I could also you could also do these 82 to 83 overall players. Like you just go over. Go a position, position, you know, position by position. Look at them, see if there's a sniper or not, and just do that. On content days, you want to be looking for the, looking for the new content. Like, so example for today's con for conference stories or story of the weeks, whatever you want to call it. We go check that out. when that's gonna come out. When that comes out, I did I did make a video. My last video is about this, but you just go. Sort by 80s to 81s. You'll sort by their position. If there's multiple at the same position, you go into the catalog. Search them up in the catalog. Buy whatever they, it is. Lazy sell them up. Make tons of profit. These market these are gonna be 7,200 coins tomorrow. Or technically today. When this video is getting posted. These are all gonna be 7,200 coins. And just snipe and snipe and buy them 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 until you can never can't buy anymore. Just do it. And you have eight tubes, these will get put you post for 19k. Like 19,250, whatever it's cheapest. They're gonna be po getting posted for 19,250. Buy them, buy them, buy them, like sell them back for either like 30k right there. If, if make sure you check what's cheap, what more expensive either conference stories unfiltered or disc unfiltered, just like the overall. Like, so I'll sell a card for 28, right? For 19, sell for 28, 5, 6k profit, bang. Just do it like like that's what you just want to do. If you do this for like on content days, profit is going. You will go insane on profit, crazy crazy. Like you see this card for six seventy k right here. For legends, there was there was the eighty three legends were going for sixty five, sixty six, sixty seven k under unfiltered. You could easily get them for fifty k and they'll sell for in like 20, 30 minutes. If you get tw if you get twenty of them in thirty minutes, which you can definitely you can sell them all again in thirty minutes, if I another twenty, so you have sixty cards, which is a, like it was like an eight k per snipe at the minimum. 
That's 320,000 coins in one hour of sniping? Seriously? That means he played for the game for like three and a half hours. You would have got a million coins. By just, just sniping. A million coins is a lot of coins right now. Another thing I do, I do go look around other positions. I do go, go look around at other programs like GTA 3. I look at Ultimate Alumni because Ultimate Alumni are a very interesting program right now. They took out the set pack right now out of the game. So the A3s are cheapish. Like I I was I should have bought more of the A3s for when they were down under 40k. I was really thinking about it. that's why I have all the ones I have right now. Because look at these 84s right now. 165. 360. That's only 285 in the set. If 40 times 4 is 160, so that means if I pull Eric Kendricks, I will lose like 10k. If I pull Mike Evans, I'll profit like 200k on the next set when they come back. Obviously, cards will go back down. Another thing, like the the daily your daily gender should be focused on st flipping, sniping, checking new content, s centering around all your whole schedule, your whole coin making schedule around that content. That's the main thing. Also, if you have investments, like personally, I have a, a I have a I have one LTV investment, which is I have a John Ramsey. I bought for three eighty eight k. He's six thirty. I'm gonna check him out. I'm gonna check him, his price every day. See if he's going up, see if he's going down. Just go, just check in. Once he's got, if he reaches seven, 700K, probably I'll sell him. Because I'll take my profit, put it, reinvest it all into a new investment, and continue. And that coin will just continue to go up and up and up. Like the Raw Revis, I wish I bought it for 400K. If I can sign one for 400K to sell it tomorrow, I will definitely do it. 400K for a Darrell Revis, I feel like it's a steal. The new LTA comes out. The left tackle. I know this is not stupid. Left tackles invest into offensive line. If he's that, if he's under 300k, buy him. That's the that's the real thing. Buy him. He will. He's gonna go up. I don't. I'm not. I'm not an investor, but from what I know from previous years, O line go up so much because O line LTDs are really good. Like you can see, like Carter LTDs are, he's, he's Carter LTDs still in the game. But Aiden Jukins, he's now going up. Then we have um, we have the 90 overall loot, the burden. He's going up in price also. Because people, the supply is getting low on him. People are either buying him quick selling for training. People are using him now. Like look, 920k, he's over quick sell value now. It, it just constantly check the market for investments. Like if... Like every single every time the pack drop, it's an LTD. Make sure you're constantly looking at his price, seeing if it's going to be a good investment for you. Be you can use on your team, boost your team overall, make some coins at the same time. Awesome. If you see story of the week cards for cheap, 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 like thirty k for eighty threes, scoop them up. All I'm gonna say, scoop, 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 scoop all of them up, all of them up. If, if any card is quick sell, you want to scoop them all up. That's my unless unless the cap goes down tomorrow, or re, I don't know when the cap's going to go down. If it does go down soon, which I'm not expecting it to do, honestly, just keep you want to keep buying keep buying these cards. Like for example, if you get A two for Dankin K, you're guaranteed to make profit on them eventually. These unfiltered price will go up back with 29 K. So the main thing. Main th the main thing to know about this video, thank you for a sub by the way, thank you. Um, the main thing to know about this video is first thing you do every day, look at your get your daily agenda done. Get your look look around in the game. Get your, get your agenda written down, or think about what you're going to do. Because over if there's new content, if not new content, just go straight into getting your go into your freshman solo season game, which is over here. Let me go. Let me go over to it real quick. Something sold. It was the center. center. The center sold. Go over solo seasons. Cook freshman season. I'm not gonna click it because it's gonna put me in game. Freshman season, pretty good way to make some free coins if you need. Then you go. Then you go. You can go. Complete your season one. Complete your daily challenges for the season one field pass. Then you go to. Then you go to auction house. Go look around the market. Go look at your 80 overall unfiltered. Go look at your A2 unfiltered. Then start working on the process of what you want to do 
and then snipe for those cards and repost. That's the easiest way to make coins and the best agent like the best that's what I do. That's how I have all my coins so far right now. I literally just I focus I focus my time on the game on flipping. If my auction house is full, I might go play a head-to-head -head game. Or might play some challenges. Or might just take my might, might go play some dynasty. Like honestly, I play the dynasty a lot. Because I love Dynasty. Dynasty is really fun. Like, Dynasty is a, a pretty, good, pretty good mode, I, I would say, personally. But, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace.